the 32nd Sunday of Ordinary Time. So we're coming to a close to our liturgical year, and our, our, as you know, Matthew is our spiritual director. So we want to take a look at a little bit of Matthew before we move on to Mark, because it'll be Mark's year next, uh, next liturgical season. So in this, uh, this Sunday, we have the parable of the ten virgins. Five are wise, five are foolish. Five of them have oil to light their lamps, and five do not. So how do you get oil? How, how come five of them end up with oil and five of them do not? Well, let's find out. So five, so five of the virgins have oil, and the way you get oil is, well, you have to have an olive tree, and then you have to prune the olive tree so you make sure that you get lots of olives. Then you gotta pick the olives off the tree, and then you gotta squish the olives, take the pits out, and make sure you get the oil. Then you gotta collect the oil and put it in, a, in a, some kind of a container or a flask. So there's a lot of work involved in, in, in producing, bearing much fruit. So what's the point of this uh, parable? Well, let me give you an illustration. So, when I was young with my four young brothers, my father said, hey, I have an idea, let's have a vegetable garden. And my brothers and I said, oh no, that's a horrible idea because you have limited time as a kid to have fun. You have to go to school, you have to do your homework, you gotta go to bed early, <laughs> so there's not much time to have fun. But what we didn't know is my father was gonna plant this garden right over a, uh, a nice chicken coop, which is, it's a, the, the soil is really super fertile. So we had a really good crop that, that year. So what we did is we took all of our best vegetables and we brought it to the Fox Sparrow County Fair, where hundreds and hundreds of people in all you know, uh, backyard growers brought their vegetables for, in competition. Well, guess what? We beat them all. We got all kinds of blue ribbons because we had the secret formula. We built our, our garden over a nice, uh, <laughs> nice uh, uh, fertile, fertile, grand, uh, fertile ground. So, so, uh, so Jesus in the gospel says, hey, you know, I got a great idea. Let's forgive 70 times a day. And when somebody uh, slaps you on one cheek because they insult you, turn and give them the other. And uh, love your neighbor, but also love your enemy and pray for your persecutors. If somebody steals your coat, uh, give them your shirt as well. And of course, the, the, the foolish versions are saying, that doesn't sound like it, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> so they, they, they're not gonna do any of that. But see, the wise versions who know how to bear much fruit, they, they do it. This is uh, because they know, because they know that, that, that with Christ they, could accomplish, they will accomplish many things. So what's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is this. Listen to Christ. Listen to Christ because he knows, because there's some things that you may not know that, uh, that, that, that will work out for you. And if you do listen to Christ, you will, you'll never regret it. You'll, you'll be glad you did. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.